We have continuing coverage of that major wildfire out near Robstown. It was started by a tractor that was turned on yesterday on County Roads 81 and 30. And tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a family who lost quite a bit in that fire. Our Andrew Christensen leads us off tonight. It's a scene the McCann family never thought they would see, but today it's going to take a while to get all this cleaned up. Going through charred pieces of furniture, tools and books and looking for one of their own. Demon! Their cat, Demon. Demon. I try not to think about it because it's, uh, it's, it's gone and it's no bringing it back. Mary McCann. Shade tree and looking at the tree she got as a wedding present. Our anniversary is coming up in July. She received it almost 40 years ago. Memories, you can't take the memories away. The McCanns say they don't have any running water because of the fire, but their neighbor is helping them out. Neighbors helping neighbors, that's what it's all about. Nueces County Social Services is also there to help those affected. They provide resources to those affected by fires. They also connect families with agencies like the Red Cross and Goodwill. We help with basic needs, such as rent, water, gas, electric, food. The McCann family is looking to pick up the pieces of their lives, but they're just thankful for what the county has already done for them. Grateful to the police and the, the fire department uh, that they went above and beyond the call of duty to, to make sure that our current places got saved. But they stay in good speak. spirits. <laughs> because one thing the fire isn't putting out, their faith. The good Lord takes us and he won't give us any burdens that we can't bear if we trust in him and I'm trusting in him. <laughs> Reporting near Robstown, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.